Having an intercom is one of the easiest ways to find out who's at your gate. No more hooting or missed calls. And with a lot of us now turning to online shopping, you don't want to miss the delivery of your package. However, a broken intercom is of no use. So today, I'm gonna to be replacing this intercom system. It's really, really simple. Let me show you how. So here's what you will need. An intercom system of your choice, a drill with a six millimeter masonry bit, a selection of screwdrivers, both Phillips and flatheads, cable cutters or utility knife. So here we have an intercom system that has already been installed. However, it served its time and it needs to be replaced. The second button is no longer in use. So it's no problem that the new unit only has one button. So the first step is to remove the transmitter from the gooseneck, which is only held in place by a few screws. Now, as the system has already been installed, I don't need to lay a new cable, as I'm gonna be making use of existing wiring. So if you don't have an existing intercom and you need to run new cabling, I'd suggest running it through conjet just to protect the cable. As you can see, the gate station is much smaller than the intercom box, nothing that a bit of DIY can't fix. So I'm just gonna create a bracket that's gonna make the perfect fit. Measure it, drill a hole for the cables to come through, and then give it a quick coat of spray paint. The backing plate is attached. Time now to mount the gate station and wire it using the same wires from the old unit. The wiring is really simple. There's two wires, two connections, doesn't matter which way they go. We're done at the gate, time now to head into the house and install the door phone. So as you can see, we need to remove the old door phone and attach a new bracket. Fortunately, the holes from the previous bracket line up with the holes on the new one. We now need to take notes of the colors of the wires. The red and brown go into numbers one and number two, and the two black cables are S1 and S2. That's to open and close the gate. The new intercom has been installed, very quick and easy. Last step, plug it into a power supply and test if it's working. Hello? Hi, Kevin. Come in. The salute. Now remember, this is just one of the security solutions available at Builders, in store or online at builders.co.za. And for more how-to videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.